Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 46. Class 46. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome. Yes, that's right. Hey, all right. Welcome to class 46. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm excited about class today. I'm looking forward to getting started. I can't wait. We're going to talk about first some salutations. Salutations, which we saw yesterday. We were practicing salutations. Estuvimos practicando ayer. We were practicing salutations yesterday. And I want to spend just about two minutes reviewing some of these. Hello. Que es hola, claro. Hi. Good morning. Buenos días. Good morning. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Un poco más tarde. Good evening. Good evening, because in English, well, in English culture, we have this idea of the evening. So we have the afternoon that starts after noon, después de mediodía. Any time after 12 is afternoon, because in Spain, you say buenos días, y when you say por la mañana, until 2 o'clock normally. At one thirty, people still say buenos dias. But in 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 uh, English speaking countries, we say good morning until noon. Afternoon is well the afternoon. Good afternoon, and then the evening. It's a bit subjective, but maybe after six o'clock is the evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. Good night. And then we had adios, goodbye, bye or bye-bye. Hasta luego, see you later, see you later. See you tomorrow, hasta mañana, see you tomorrow. But we, ha we can only say see you tomorrow if we are going to see that person tomorrow. Because So you can say see you tomorrow for people that, that uh, you work with. And you see every day, because yes, I will see you tomorrow. Sometimes I, I, I get into my elevator, my lift, el ascensor, ascensor in mi, in, in mi edificio. And there are some neighbors that I see once every two weeks. And there's one man that whenever I see him in the elevator, and we're going up together in the evening, going up, he lives on the second floor. And I live on the fifth floor. He says to me, Hasta mañana. And I think to myself, No, no, no. Hasta mañana no, porque yo te veo solamente una vez cada, cada dos semanas. No se puede decir hasta, hasta mañana. Quizás no. For, so, but in Spanish, you can say hasta mañana. But in English, you, we, we only say hasta mañana if we're really go We only say see you tomorrow if we will really see the person tomorrow. Okay? Hasta pronto. See you soon. Okay? And then we have some pleasantries. Greetings. Saludo formal. Uh, well, here we have a, a formal, how do you do? Very formal. If I meet the king, how do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm. How are you? Como esta? How are you? Menus formal. How are you doing? Que tal? How's it going? Como van las cosas? Eh, ¿Qué tal? Como van las cosas? How's it going? How's it going? How are things going? Muy corriente ese. Very well, thank you. Que es un poco formal. Fine, thank you is, is much more common. Mm, I recommend this structure. Bien, gracias. Fine, thanks. Fine, thank you. Pleased to meet you. Encantado. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Glad to meet you. Right? It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And then giving thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. De nada. You're welcome. Not at all. Don't mention it. 
Excuse me. Perdona. Perdone. Oiga. Excuse me. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Disculpa me. I'm sorry. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, let's move on to something we didn't have time to practice in the last class. Numbers. We were practicing numbers up to, hasta, up to a million. In the, in the student guide, you have the explanation, numbers up to a million. So, remember, we're using commas and not decimal points to separate the numbers. And we say the word and after the word hundred. One hundred and twenty-five thousand four hundred and fifty-six. Each group of three, the numbers are the same. That's mm, hundred and mm, mm. And then you simply add the title. Not so hard. But we'll get into some big numbers today. So, when it comes to numbers, I like to challenge our technician, Nacho. Nacho, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> He's ready. He's always ready, it seems, for numbers. And uh, final, I would like to see if I can finally g get him to make a mistake, because he never, he never makes a mistake with these numbers, but we'll see. See how he does today with some big numbers. Okay, and at home, write these down. Write them down at home. Okay, are you ready? He's ready. Okay. 234,563. 184,532. 324,682. 349,439, 234,452. Okay, that's all. Did you get them, Nacho? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, he got them. He got them. Well, we'll see. It seems like he, yeah, he, he usually gets them. Now, at home, did you get these? I read them a little bit fast, but um, let's see. Okay, so, so Nacho, can you read them back? 234,563. Yes, 563. Very good. Okay, and the next number? 184,532. Very good. Excellent. Two for two. Okay, and the next one? Three hundred and twenty-four thousand six hundred and eighty-two. Yes, yes, okay. Three hundred and forty-nine thousand four hundred and thirty-nine. Yes, he's got it. Last, and... last but not least, drum roll. He, he's he's he, he can't give me the drum roll because he's reading the number. But anyway, if 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 I could put a drum roll, I would. Brrr, ring. Two hundred and thirty-two thousand four hundred and fifty-two. Oh, whoa, whoa! I now did I did I I think I said two hundred and thirty-four thousand. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong though. I could be wrong, but I think I said two hundred and thirty-four thousand. Mm. Sometimes, if you write them down fast, it's tough to read back your own handwriting too. Okay. Okay, let's try. Do you want to try three more numbers? All right, three more numbers at home. Get out your pen. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time. Okay. 248,583. 498,548. 842,852. And that's all. Oh, boy. I may have caught him. Okay, Maybe. Nacho. <laughs> 248,583. Correct. Okay, he's got the first one. On now to the next number. 498,500. 
548. Correct. Yes, he's two for two. The last number, last but not least. 842,000. 852. Yes, he got it. He got it. He pulled it out of the fire. I thought, I, I didn't think he had it. Well done, Nacho. Well done. Okay, he's got it. Good job. All right, so at home, did you get those? Did you get those at home? I hope so. I hope you got all eight. We did eight numbers, right? And Nacho got them all right, with the exception of the one number that may have been off. But anyhow, hmm. Okay, very good. Word of the day. Yes, yes, it is time now for our word of the day. That's right, the word of the day today is... Congelar. Congelar. Why don't we ask a special guest... Let's see if I can find Mr. Alberto Alonso. Alberto Alonso, can you tell me in English how to say the word congelar? I believe it's to freeze. Oh, yes, it is right. He's correct. You speak very good English. I've been practicing for 32 years, Kyle. <laughs> All right. Well done. 32 years. Excellent. Excellent. The verb to freeze. Freeze. So when water gets very cold... When it reaches zero degrees, it freezes. So it, third person singular, it freezes. Yesterday, it froze. It was so cold that it froze. The water froze. All right. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to practice with some Imperative structures, imperatives. So at home, we're going to practice with the phrasal verbs to stand up. Stand up. And the opposite of stand up, sit down. Stand up and sit down. I'm also going to write my name and do several other actions when you tell me. Okay, tell me to stand up. Tell me to stand up at home. Nacho, tell me to stand up, please. Tell me to stand up. Stand up. Guys. Stand up. Okay, okay. Now, Nacho wants me to stand up. So, what am I doing? I'm... What am I doing, Nacho? You are standing up. I'm standing up. I'm standing up. That's right. Now, tell me to sit down. Sit down, guys. <laughs> okay, so he's telling me to sit down. Sit down! Sit down! Okay, now what am I doing? You are sitting down. You're sitting down, exactly. I'm sitting down. Stand up and sit down. Absolutely. Now, we can, in the future, we will practice more advanced forms of the imperative. Would you mind? Would you please? Could you? But the most important form is the simple, direct imperative. Stand up! And, and I stand up. Or stand up, please. Sit down. So at home, tell me to write my name. Kyle, write your name. Okay, what am I doing? I'm writing my name. I'm writing my name. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. That's right, our five words of vocabulary for today. Okay, at home, how do you say in English, hermoso, hermoso, beautiful, beautiful, yes, what a beautiful city. What a beautiful city, or hermosa. What a beautiful woman. Sure, she's beautiful. Autobus, autobus, bus, bus. Peligroso, dangerous, dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Dangerous. Conmigo, en voz alta, siempre en voz alta en casa. Dangerous. Very good. Fecha. How do you say fecha? Date. 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 Very good. And finally, the last word. Dibujo. Drawing. 
drawing. Very good. All right. A drawing. Excellent. So our five words. Beautiful. Bus. Dangerous. Dangerous. Repeat with me. Dangerous. Date. Drawing. Drawing. Very good. All right. Translation. So here, in your translation book, you can follow along. And we'll work through the translation list. The first list. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say in English? Es un teléfono. En voz alta, es un teléfono. It's a telephone. Very good. It's a telephone. It's a telephone. It's a telephone. Nacho, ¿cómo se dice? Estoy aquí. I'm here. I'm here. Very good. Esto es un bolígrafo. This is a pen. This is a pen. Very good. En voz alta en casa, con, con nosotros. El informe está en la mesa. The report is on the table. The report is on the table. Very good. The report is on the table. La casa es grande. The house is big. The house is big. The house is big. Very good. El periódico no está en la silla. The newspaper uh, is not on the chair. Right, is not on the chair. And you could also use the contraction isn't. The newspaper is not on the chair. The newspaper isn't on the chair. Good. El libro es azul. The book is blue. Good. El lápiz no está aquí. The pencil is not here. The pencil is not here. And with the contraction, the pencil... Isn't here. The pencil isn't here. The pencil isn't here. Where is it? The pencil isn't here. ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? ¿Qué es esto? What's this? What's this? Yeah, this. What's this? Two more. <laughs> ¿Está el libro en la mesa? Is the book on the table? Good. Very good. And finally, el avión inglés es pequeño. The English plane is small. The English plane is small. Very good. Perfect. And we're completely out of time. We are more than out of time, so I'm going to finish right away. But we'll be back in a few minutes with the intermediate class. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>